All right, guys, this is my GoPro. I'm recording you on it, and I'm showing you. This is the first time I've done it with a T46S. I have done it with a T46G. Uh, this is my test dummy, my uh, new fancy Verizon OneTalk phone. Um, and we are going to get started. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't really have the best place to set this up, so I guess we'll set it up here. So in order to do this, actually, I might cut this crap out, because this is kind of silly to, all right. So we're gonna put it here. All right, you should get a lot better view. It's a wide zoom. I actually really like the GoPros. Um, we're gonna, this is all PoE. It's fine. Uh, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna unplug it. So the goal is to hold down, I'm gonna take it off hook just so it doesn't fall. Hold down the speakerphone button as you plug it into power. I have a PoE switch, so of course that's power. To the internet port. One talk, desk, phone, okay. Now it's gonna pop up with uh, this command and in the instructions it will tell you to obviously press 1 um, all right so we're gonna go all right so because of the way my network works I'm going to verify um, that So I'm going to ping and see what's available. 10 dot, uh, 10 dot 30. All right, so 10 dot 30 is in fact available. So just to match everything up where it's hooked up to my network. So that is the IP address of my computer. If you see here, I do a lot of network stuff. So as you can see, I have other IP addresses set up. TFTP, all right. I got my pumpkin started. So immediately I had hit the okay button to start and it's doing its thing because it knew what to look for. As you can see, it says transfer is started. I'll also do that on the video itself because I'm taking a screenshot of this bad boy. It's firmware is updating. It's still pulling more files. Fortunately, the GoPro is you don't have a, uh, a thing that you can test, so it's, it's awfully difficult to I can't really see what I'm looking at. Now it's installing the firmware. So this firmware is right from Yealink themselves. Um, my vendor, 888 VoIP, that I've always used, sent me the firmware directly that they have, which they got from Yealink. Right on. That is the stock firmware. Sweet. Now, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna grab the IP address. This is the not, it's factory reset, so this is the non-static one. I wanna get the MAC address and try something. 10.139. And you'll see what I'm doing. I'll pull this. I'm gonna pause this for now. So I went in and uh, added this uh, MAC address to the Yealink provisioning service, which I then added to my phone system. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a factory reset. Hold down the OK button. Factory reset. So it's doing its thing.
So it should then go to the device management platform, which is the old, which is a new way of saying it's the Yaling provisioning service. Find the MAC address I entered. Send that request to my phone system. Grab the configuration file, download it to the phone, and my name should just appear after a minute or two of this uploading. Maybe having to do a firmware upgrade. This is uh, probably a pretty old version of the Yaylink firmware, I would assume. Sending provision, config updating, blah blah blah. Oh, look. <laughs> See, like I said, probably going to update the firmware, which I kind of suspected would probably happen. Let me open up my endpoint manager. I, honestly, I'm not sure what version I'm on. So, firmware slot one, which is... Sixty six point eighty four point zero point fifteen. So uh we'll see if this matches that. It was on this was a GUI before it rebooted. It was on sixty six point eighty one. So eighty one to eighty four is a pretty big jump off. We'll see. Uh and this is also my, I have VLAN 1 and VLAN 3. VLAN 1 is data, VLAN 3 is voice. After this gets the configuration file, it should then pull up a 10.10 .10 IP address to stick. I, I did it that way, which is why I have a PoE managed switch right there. Sweet. Obtaining an IP address. This is where it should obtain one with a 10. I'm going to hit info. Oh, look. View. Exit. Boom. And it's at the correct firmware. And it pulled up the right VLAN tag, which is important if you're trying to keep your data and your voice separate. Sweet. All right. Those are all junk voicemail. All right. Thank you for watching.